Well, good morning, Darkfish Rally friends. Final day here of Safari Rally Kenya. It's a proper final day, this one. Six stages. It's a loop of three. 74 and a tiny little bit kilometres out there today. And do you know what? This opening stage, it might be a short one, but it's perhaps one of the roughest, and my goodness, that says something, one of the roughest of the rally. Yeah, you know, obviously we've got Sunday points to go for today, but there's, there's nothing that can be taken for granted in this event. It really does throw up all sorts of dramas. And these two boys here, well, goodness me. I mean, what was going on yesterday? Did they have a big target on their car for the local wildlife? I don't know. But they battled through. And, you know, we heard at the end of the day that Esa Pekka Lappi had a little bit of potentially something in his eye from that smashed windscreen. Look at that windscreen. It's a brand new one. You can tell it's brand new, can't you? Absolutely clear as you like. A little bit of tape down the sides just to secure it. It's, it's not an easy thing to fit a windscreen in these. Bonding the windscreen in, actually, it's quite a big job, and as you can see, they've just sealed it with the tape, but that all looks pretty good to me. Um, you know, this is something that Esapeka and Yanni do quite a lot, just working on the road section, on moving the tyres around, uh, maybe just doing a few little changes to the, the settings and the, the right height. Uh, you know, it was a busy service yesterday, a busy, busy service, particularly with the windscreen, with the issues that Tanak had, the issues that Thierry Neuville had. Certain things, you know, it, it stacks up in service. It really does. You know, you've got a job list to do across the three cars. And sometimes you run out of time and you can't really spend as much time doing what you would want to do um, with each car. So you might wonder why they've just come out of service and they're having to work on the car. Well, uh, you know, they could just go down. There's, there's a bit of ducting that had come. There we go. He's, he's fitted it in. A little bit of uh, ducting into the brakes there. Uh, cooling that had come a little bit loose. So they've used some little ties there just to tie it back up again. Um, let's just see if we can see into the eyes of Esa Becker Lappi. It all looks good. He wouldn't have come out this morning if he had any issues with his eyes. So, Lappi's car, they're in the stage in a few minutes' time. Behind them, morning, Martin. Are you well this morning? Big day ahead today. Big, big day. Uh, yeah, big day ahead today for everyone. You know, really, really important. I, I, I am a little bit conflicted as to these Sunday points, but it does give us something to drive for. It gives, certainly, you know, Oitanak, who needs the points, it gives him something to drive for today. Um, you know, a rally like Kenya, that there's going to be drama everywhere. Um, but, but, extra points, yeah, extra interest, extra jeopardy. It's all there. Now, all looks as if around Esapeka's car, everything is good. You know, again, look, remember, you wouldn't, you know, these, these cars, they're, they're, they're beautifully put together, but the minute you start knocking bits off, you start to see gaps appearing in the, in the joins and, yeah. Interesting stuff. Oh, our photographer friends Hi. have turned up. Good morning, gentlemen. Hi, good morning, good morning. How are you? Nice to see you. Okay, here we go. We, we want these boys are busy. We want this double. Eyes okay this morning, Esapeka? Yeah. All good. You feeling good? Good man. There we are. Esapeka Lappi. That's good to hear. Let's just take a little look. We'll keep well away from here. We'll just keep a little look. Tire choice. Well, soft tires. We've not seen any hard compound tires come out. Look, look, you know, I've got my top on this morning. It's chilly and it's quite damp. There's a, a heavy dew. It rained quite a bit overnight as well. Um, soft compounds, 28 of them. The tyre choice, look around, they're probably just about, yeah, these are all worn tyres. Yeah, that's a new one on the front right, so it's a combination of, of used and new tyres, but yeah, when, when you look at the number of punctures that we've had out there, yeah, tyre allocation, it's not, not an enormous issue, but it's, um, you have to manage it, you absolutely have to manage it. Let's see what Ois and Martin have got, one spare, oh, that's interesting. One spare tyre, so clearly that's that's a sign of intent from Oit Tanak. He needs these points, he knows he needs them. So we saw that gamble from Esapeka Lappi on Friday morning where he went out with one spare. It worked for him, Tanak doing the same thing. It's a short loop, 37 kilometres, the loop. But, um, you know, we've seen we've seen just how rough it is. So one spare tyre, let's have a look at Esapeka. Is it a gamble? I don't know. I don't know, let's see what they've got. One spare here as well, brand new spare in the back of Esapeka's car. Uh, so there we are, folks. Esapeka Lappi 
working hard, you don't get much time to sit and relax as a driver, do you, and a co-driver? Working hard, making sure everything's all right. Tanak and Yaveoha looking good there. We'll head back down the road and see who else we can pick up this morning. Back again, folks. Uh, do you know, we were just talking a minute or two ago about the, the job list stacking up during service and they have to prioritise. There are certain things that clearly are not priority. Unusual to see a car having gone into service and coming out again the next day. Look, there's mud. They've got to scrape the mud off the wheel arches and you can see that Martin's doing that with with the scraper that he's got, they're just banging the mud off. That would normally all be taken care of in service, but clearly it was a busy, busy day for Hyundai yesterday, a really busy service. You prioritise the jobs that are most essential and scraping the mud off from the wheel arches wasn't one of those jobs. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Indeed, Elvin Evans, Scott Martin, what a tough day they had yesterday. Uh, you know, they battled away, but were held back by punctures, unfortunately. But, you know, fourth place, Decent points for them, and they'll be flat out for the extra points, I would imagine, today as well. Now, that's Gregoire Munster, first on the road. Let's watch him as he heads up past us. Careful, boys. Munster heading into the stage. Uh, yeah, he worked very hard yesterday to try and repair that rear left damage, wasn't it, to the suspension for Munster? Worked really hard, poor lad. A tough start to him, but that's rallying, and that's rallying at the highest level. He's come in with a great opportunity and uh, it's been tough. Uh, let's have a quick word if we can. Scott, you okay for a quick word? Yep. Uh, good morning, first of all. At uh, this first stage this morning, Scott, it's a tricky one, isn't it? It's a tough little stage. Yeah, it's uh, really rough. Same as what we've uh, seen before, probably a little bit rougher. Uh, but yeah, it's a small stage, but it's got a fair bite. What's the approach going to be today? Obviously the extra points today, but you want to make sure you secure all those points from yesterday. Yeah, sure. You've got to finish. And um, like this rally from the start is, is about looking after the car as well. So there'll be a, a balancing act to do. So, yeah, we'll try and um, obviously uh, be quick, but obviously look after the car in this, uh, particularly in this first one. Good luck, boys. Good luck. He looks rather well this morning, Scotty. Man. I do like a driver and a co-driver that find a couple of minutes for a shave in the morning. He, looks, he could almost be heading off the office, couldn't he, with that fresh-faced look? Looking good as always. Actually, you look better than ever, Scotty Martin. You are in the office. That's a very good point. Looks better than ever, that young man, doesn't he? Uh, look, again, we're talking about the mud. You know, there's a little bit of mud around the service park. They may have picked a little bit up as they've come out of the service park. That's possible. Um, but, yes, a, a tough day for these boys. You know, They were up into second place. They fought their way into second place. Um, and then those punctures on that, well, it was uh, the first running of Sleeping Warrior, wasn't it? And I think they picked up another one. Now, we saw the Hyundai's going out with one spare tyre, two spares for Evans and Martin. You know, that's indicative of the silly, ah, silly, silly is a bit much, the point system. You know, Lappy and Tanak have nothing to lose in terms of Saturday points, so they can take the risk with the one spare tyre. You know, Elvin, and the other drivers, they've got a whole lot to lose. So, you know, that gamble, going with one spare tire would be even greater. So they, you know, they cover the risk and they go with two spare tires. It's not an equitable situation, in my view. It really isn't. It really isn't. I, you know, here's, here's, the, here's the simple solution to that. Simple solution is give them the points at the end of Saturday, you know, and don't worry about Sunday. If they don't finish on the Sunday, it doesn't matter. Give them the points. And then in this situation, you know, Elvin could have come out with one spare tyre because it wouldn't have been such an enormous gamble. Um, it still needs, that whole situation still needs looking at in my view. I don't think it's perfect at all. Give them the points on the Saturday. I'm going to campaign for that. Yes, please, Scotty. Do you, do you, yeah, you probably weren't listening, but the point I'm making, Scott, is you guys have got too much to lose not to go with two spare tyres, whereas the two boys in front of you, well, they've got nothing to lose. They can take the gamble with one spare. Yeah. Yes, he said yes. <laughs> Let's not disturb them. <laughs> but yeah, there we are. Uh, Scott Martin, Elvin Evans, heading in to the opening stage. As Scotty said, it's a rough one. And Let's see who else we can find. Take the well, we've wandered back down the roads. Uh, by the way, folks, where we are today, we're back around the region of Lake Element, not Lake Element, it's Lake Naivasha. So just outside the town of Naivasha, really where the stages ran on Friday. Um, we've come back down the road and we found Adrian Fomo, there we go, getting a good look at just, oh my goodness me, that is rough. It's narrow, it's bumpy, 
Rocky. Oi, 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 oi. That doesn't look particularly easy. Who is that one with? Is that Gregoire? Yeah. Look how narrow it is. Jeez, it's a proper. Uh, this is the advantage of being, you having a few cars on the road in front of you. You get the chance to get at least an indication of what to expect. You know, in terms of the weather conditions, yeah, it looks as if it's quite damp in there. So, um, not muddy, but damp, you know, maybe a little slippery in places. Who knows? Who knows? A uh, big day ahead for Adrian Formal. What you expected in terms of conditions, Adrian? This Troy. The road is really, really rough. It's much more than the previous years. Oh. Yeah, last year it was rough enough. <laughs> yeah, but uh, the rough parts now are even rougher. So it's, yeah. So how do you approach this? Obviously it's not, it's not flat out. You can't be flat out. But you also can't afford to be too cautious in these stages. You've got to drive the car, haven't you? Well, you can be flat out. If you are lucky, you can get out of the, of the stage with the fastest time and then, yeah, you are happy. But you can also have a puncture or damaging the car. And after the restriction, it's fine, but there was really like roughy parts. And wow, yeah, great stuff. We'll leave you to watch that. Uh, how many spare tires? Is it two you've got? Two. two, two. Yeah, again, again, some, you know, Adrian, masses to lose. You can't afford the gamble of one spare tire. So, yeah, it makes sense to go with two, doesn't it? Um, I, do, I do love those two helmets. Maybe my two favourites. They just look great, don't they, on the Red Bull roof of the car? Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. <laughs> just. Oh, it's a brace of Rally One cars. Jordan Serderides. Put a little bit of heat into the brakes. That's our rally leader, Cali Rovenpera. Oh, this man's looking, you look a lot cleaner and tidier and fresher than when we saw you yesterday. Uh, what a tough day it was, Aaron, did you? Get back, have a nice little, maybe a little massage, a little uh, hot shower and a refresh when you got back last night. It was very much needed, I would think. Yeah, definitely. It was a long, tough day yesterday and the rain didn't come, so the temperature stayed quite hot. But yeah, thankfully the clocks didn't go forward like they did in Europe, so we didn't miss an hour's sleep last night, but all good. Uh, do you know, it's up and down this rally, isn't it? And, and that's quite difficult, I would imagine, you know, almost emotionally to deal with um, for a driver and, and for a co-driver. You, you're up one minute, you're down the next minute, and then you're back up again at the end of the day. Yeah, that's like Safari. Of course, we had uh, the double puncture yesterday, and it looked, uh, it looked quite bleak at that point, but pretty much everybody got punctures on that stage. So, yeah, to finish first, first you have to finish, and that's the plan today. How many spares? Two. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, it is only those with nothing to lose that can go with one. So there we are. Look, just have a wee look around the tyres. with Different various levels of wear on the tyres. That's um, newish, a bit worn. This one's quite worn on the rear. I say worn, just, just used. Some people might say they're just worn in. I don't know. Let's have a look at this one here at the back. Yeah, Takasan taking his time, just having a little look as Adrian was doing at the stage conditions. Rougher than ever, we're told, that stage concentrated. He is becoming a bit of a bit of a safari master, isn't he? He knows how to get around these stages. What are you pointing out, Elliot? These, these are for the light fittings, yeah? These little, um, oh, we didn't touch it, we don't touch them. Um, yes, to fit the light pods, if they need them. Which they don't, clearly, this morning. <laughs> Takas are very concentrated. It, it, do you know what? He's just got to bring this car home today, he really does. Um, particularly after the disappointments of Sweden, and it was enormously disappointing. Uh, what a result this would be, and it shows some resilience if he can bring that car back in today and, and claim that, what, third podium out of four appearances here. Oh, so someone's had an issue, no? Everyone's okay. Look how fast it is as well. It's fast, it's narrow, it's rough. You know, we've mentioned it many times, precision. You've got to be so accurate out there. You've got to be patient out there. You know, there are cuts that look as if they're on, but you have to be patient, take your time, and uh, make sure that you don't... You, you stay on the line. You go off the line, you go into the scrub, anything can happen out there. Good luck to these boys. Let's go have a, a final word this morning with young Oliver Solberg. He's the man that also struggled 
with punctures. Oh, Cali as well. No, we'll go and get Cali. Sorry, thank you very much. It's another little walk up the road. Oliver Solberg, very good morning to you. How are you feeling today, young Oliver? Yeah, today I'm a bit sick, but it's okay. A little bit sick, a little bit cold, flu. I'm not, I know I'm sick in the mind also, but I mean uh, sick, uh, <laughs> sick in general. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Well, listen, we'll, we'll leave you to it. I'm not going to get too close if you're not well. Um, it's a wonderful livery, this, isn't it, on Oliver's car? It does, uh, suit the nature. It does suit the nature. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, different sort of air intakes. We've seen that, haven't we, the snorkels. And these guys had a snorkel last year. The Rally 2 cars were permitted snorkels last year. It is interesting. Yeah, they had a homemade snorkel last year. That's... Uh, my dad made because we didn't have one so we just we thought why do we have to make one and who's made this one there is this uh, from Scott? this is got that one both a proper one you've not had to use it yet or have you had to use it no no i've used it for sure yeah yeah, okay. yeah. in what some of the dustier sections yeah yeah the fresh fresh sections and it for sure helps definitely and have you how do you what, what's the instruction because it is elliot that activates it isn't it what's your instruction to him what do you say no i say like uh if if you see like a quite a especially second pass quite a rough section you're like okay close it you know okay. and, and then you see the button that closes yeah. it and then opens it when you're out yeah. very clever isn't it oh, touched it mustn't touch the cars I'm not allowed to good luck thank you there we go Oliver Solberg at the bull bars as well that's the other thing um, rally two cars have got what we would call bull bars they call them rule bars in Australia they'll save you sometimes for sure for sure with with what with rocks or with animals. Uh, both, both, but uh, mainly, uh, mainly actually, you know, the okay. If you hit a big animal, you're, I think you're done anyway. But, but it at least some protection for some ruts maybe or some rocks and and uh, also maybe some smaller animals. Because you know the radiators on these cars, they're quite vulnerable, aren't they, at the front there? And, and any extra protection has to be good for them. Especially this car, you see, it's very open, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's needed. <laughs> Fantastic. I, you know, in some ways it looks quite cool as well, but it's clearly there. For it's a, a good training session in the morning. You know, <laughs> Don't do your back in. That would be a disaster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, good luck, boys. Second place in Rally 2, WRC 2, these two. Two minutes or so behind Gus Greensmith. Yeah, it's all about just getting through. They're not going to make that up today. Let's see what happens there. We are heading up the road to find our rally leader. <laughs> yeah, he does like to give it a bit, doesn't he, Takasan, when he's warming his tyres and he's warming his brakes up. Now, these boys leading the rally by a very, very long way in... Oi, 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 that was an oi, oi, oi from Yoni. Wow, wow. Uh, Yoni, this stage last year, you boys were magnificent. You, you surprised a lot of people with your pace in this one, but it's a very rough stage, there's a lot going on in this one. Yeah, I guess Carla was quite committed last year. He was, wasn't he? But there's a lot of risk involved in that. Maybe not so risky this year in terms of your approach? Well, you have to ask from the main guy, but uh, I guess it's not not, uh, not so much needed this year. Last year we went to beat Sepp, but uh, sadly we didn't do it. You're only a handful of seconds behind them, weren't you? Best of luck out there today. Yeah, maybe a slightly different approach in this one from last year, Cali? Definitely. Have you had a little look? Have you been watching on the All Live? It does look even rougher than last year. Yeah, not yet, but for sure it was already rougher in the recce. We'll let you go and have a little look then. There we go. The helmet's on, the balaclava's on. Uh, what a performance. What an absolutely magnificent performance from these two. Every other car has had problems on this rally. These two have managed it beautifully. And it's not luck. It's, it's about preparation. It's about planning. It's about making the best of the recce. And then it's about using your head actually in the stages. And wow, uh, he's been a league or two above everyone else this weekend, Cali Robin Perra. Really has been quite magnificent out there. So they've had a little look at what's going on in the stage. Nouvelle with a big, big moment. An oi, oi, oi moment from Yoni. Uh, there we are, our rally leaders. Two minutes and a bit ahead of the rest of the field. Over we go. Let's get out of the way and let them head off. There we are, folks. It is the final day of Safari Rally Kenya. Six stages to go, 74 kilometers. They are heading off into the stage.